Hi, I'm Danny, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to level the print bed on your ANET A3 3D printer. Roll the intro. So, of course, the first thing we want to do is switch on the printer. So, we want to go into the menu. Uh, my printer is already slightly hot because I've I've been using it today. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to prepare. We're going to go to preheat PLA. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to expand the nozzle just slightly. The increased temperature does make a slight difference, but this is a very good tip when you're leveling your print bed. If you preheat the printer first, this will make sure that everything is exact as it can possibly be. And then we're going to go ahead and level the print bed. So we'll just wait for this to come up to temperature. You can see on the left we have the nozzle temperature. At the top is the target temperature. And at the bottom is the current temperature. Mine's already pretty hot because I was previously doing some printing. And on the right we've got the bed temperature. Uh, the target temperature for the bed is at the top. And the current temperature is at the bottom. And on the right hand side we've got the fan speed. Which I'm sure you can hear right now. Now this is all heated, so what we need to do now is go back to the menu system, hit the button, go to position, and we go down to auto home, push the button in, and we'll now see the bed will now raise up to the nozzle. So the nozzle is now on the print bed. If you do get some extrusion from the filament, this is not a problem. Just simply uh, wipe it away if you can. If not, just leave it, that's fine. So we're going to use a very simple tool to level the print bed. We're going to use a trusty piece of paper. If you do have some filament that has been extruded through the print head when you've heated the printer, this is not a problem. If you push the paper between the print head and the bed, it should remove this, so that's not a problem. So the next thing we want to do is go down to our menu system, hit the button, go down to control, put the wrong button. So we want to go to control and disable steppers. This just disables some of the motors so we can move around the print head and also the bed if we need to. What we want to do is you'll see there is a tape material, mine is actually teared from a little bit of damage, um, but we want to move the print head on to the print tape. We want it in the corner closest to the screw. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some paper in here. The paper should slide underneath, but it should feel like the head is gripping the paper slightly. That's the tension that, that I use and works good for me. If that's not the case, you either need to tighten or need to loosen the screws in each corner. So in each corner of the bed there's a screw that can be adjusted. You either tighten the screw to make the bed go down or loosen it to, to help it come up. So mine's already been leveled so that screw is fine. We're going to come over to the next corner like so. We're going to put in our piece of paper. Again, so we want the nozzle to sort of grip the paper slightly, just that little bit of resistance, but it sh we should still be able to slide it back and forth. And then we want to move the printer over to our next corner. And the same again. Same thing. Now, if your printer is not right, you need to get yourself a screwdriver and adjust the screws. You may find that you have to do this several times when you level one side, another side may go out, but if you keep going, you will get there eventually. So now we're on the final corner. And the same again, we're gonna put in our piece of paper and we want it just to just to grip the paper but still be able to move it around. If you can't get the paper underneath or you can't move the paper then it's it's too tight so you need to screw the screw in so it takes the bed down slightly. 
So that's all good. Now we are going to hit position, auto home. And we are done. You can now go ahead and switch off your printer and happy printing. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more. I will be making more videos and more guides. If you have any requests, please send me a message. Thanks for watching.